Good morning. Good morning. Hey, good morning, Barbara. She's got a front row seat. I thought I'd do a little warm up. I'll be trying to think of a phrase that I could use as I, you know, want to do a little something while I wait for some folks to get in. And it just occurred to me I could call it a warm up. So this is my little warm up for today. I think it was my last Friday stream, maybe not this past week, the week before. And I was talking about Natasha from um, Treasure Books. And she did a project where she was putting stuff down on a nonstick surface, like a piece of wax paper. I have a piece of freezer paper here. And then she used her, um, I'm using golden matte medium. So what do you call that? You call it a, I guess you just call it a medium, a fluid medium, an acrylic medium. It's basically like a glue. I wouldn't use Mod Podge because for me that doesn't stick. Good morning, Riri. <clears throat> and so I tried, I tried one and I did show it. Uh, I think it was Friday a week ago. But I thought I'd do a couple of those as a warm up. I had the back of packaging. Good morning, Gail. <laughs> and uh, there were little uh, pieces of ephemera in this package. And on the back, they had all these little pictures. And some of them aren't too bad. They're kind of cute, but they're real glossy. And really, for me, I probably would never use them, but I hate to throw stuff away. So I have those. I've got some pieces of um, napkin. And uh, my last stream, I was putting together journals that I need to build. And one of them was purple themed. So I just found this purple napkin. And my hubby saved me. Oh, I have a tub of tea bags, but he was making some tea. So he saved these tea bags for me. Now, these are just the regular size tea bags. And uh, for anyone who may not know, you just, you know, squeeze out your excess tea. Just let them dry. I'm putting my tea leaves in a jar. I'm not sure what I am going to do with those, but I know Barbara has suggested you can use those in, if you're making your own paper. Now, I haven't ever tried that. I'm not saying I wouldn't, but at least I have them. I didn't stub you. I said, hello, you got a front row seat. Barbara, Barbara. And then I had purchased some of those bigger tea bags, you know, that makes the gallons or whatever. Hey, Journey. I mean, I always call you Journey because I see that journal. It's Judy. Judy, Judy. Tea dyeing. Yes. Tea dyeing is fun. Although I, I like. Now, these, these, these got pretty good. See, I got some darkness there. Normally, I don't get too much darkness. But these are nice big, you know, sheets. And they open up real easy, I got to tell you, which is great. So I'm saving my tea, little tea bits. So these are some things I'm going to try. And all Natasha did, now you want to check out. And I did put her on that um, uh, stream I was talking about, Natasha. I did put her uh, in my uh, description box. And I think... A couple of my mods, I don't remember exactly who, put her link in the chat as well. Now, I just have a piece of packaging here and my golden matte medium. I'm just going to pour some in here. I don't want to, I don't want to work out of my, now I do it with my paint and you really shouldn't. And I'm very laxed about that. But with the glue, with the, with the golden matte medium, I don't want to put my brush in my jug. Barbara said dried tea leaves are good for tea reading. Oh, really? Barb's mom used to read tea leaves and for making homemade paper. Yep, I did mention that because Barbara did say that. Also, um, 
great in texture paste. Oh, Barbara, that's an idea I hadn't thought about. Hey, Dixie. Good morning. All right. So all that um, Natasha did. Now, this is a piece of book page from um, an Edith Holden. And, of course, this is quite large. So we'll see how we make out. So all she did was just take her image and put a lot of glue or medium, I should say. I think she, you know what, she might have put it down like that too. Put some on the bottom. I really should have rewatched it. My last stream, I was talking about Jabid Neary. Did anybody get a chance to look at that? All right, now I'm going to use a bigger tea bag because this image is so large. But I don't want to, I don't want to use all of it, you see, because I'm stingy. So I'm just going to do a little measure, measure. So I'm just doing this little project as a warm up, waiting for folks to get in. And definitely I didn't put out enough matte medium. And then Natasha just painted more matte medium over top when she laid down her tea bag. And then she took her brush and kind of squished up her edges. Did anybody get a chance to look at Natasha's video doing this little technique? And I think she does this for two, two reasons. Uh, it looks cool. And, okay, Barbara said, I did watch her and sent it to Janet Nash, who also loved it and put it into her. I know, it was fabulous, right, Barbara? Okay, cool. And I think Natasha does this because, number one, it looks cool. Number two, I think once this dries and you go to peel this up to use it, it's easier to grab. You didn't find that particular video, Gail? I think one of the girls said, actually, I think Barbara did find the actual um, link. I was just wondering if anyone saw it and how they liked it. Okay, so you can fuss around forever with that, right? Let me do a couple more. So here's these little shiny things. Now you want to make sure you're working on a surface that has a little bit of a slickness to it because you want to be able to peel these back up. Now, this is a little large, and you can always, you know, after you pull this off, tear it, cut them, whatever, right? But it's like you're making your own ephemera, and sometimes you have things you think, oh, I would like to use that in a journal, but it's, there she goes. There's my fabulous mod, Barb. She's got it. Thank you, Barbara. Uh, or you have, a, you know, it's a color that you want a little muted maybe for a certain project or, you know, it's just whatever, whatever. All right. So now I'm going to try a piece of napkin. And we're getting a few folks in here. So now this is upside down, but it's not going to matter because when I pull it off, you know, I'll be using it. Now I could use this piece here as a little skimpy, but the other thing that Natasha did is that she overlapped. See, sometimes, not sometimes, when you have regular tea bags, you get those little ridges. You might want to leave those on there. I need to get out some more medium, but she overlapped tea bags so say you don't have the big ones and you want to do this well you don't have to wait you can get started you can overlap your tea bags let me get out some more medium i either put out too little or not enough You like potato chips with riches? <laughs> Good morning, Jen. <laughs> oh, 
I prefer the smooth, I do say. Now, I think if you're going to overlap, a good idea is to tear your edges, just like if we were collaging. So this also gives you a different kind of a look, because you can see where it overlaps. But when you go to use something like this in one of your journal projects, oh, I didn't get that one so good. I'm going to take that back up. Heavens, look, I, now I did it really poorly. You might end up tearing this apart anyway and not really using the whole image. So why not overlap? Now, when we make... Well, I don't really drink the tea. My husband does. But when he makes it, he, he uses six or seven um, tea bags, you know. And uh, just want to make sure you let them dry, especially if you're storing the tea and saving it for another project because you don't want any mold. So you want to just make sure your tea bags are dried very nicely and completely. All right, so you get the gist. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this um, because I want to get to my other project. But I also have a piece of plain tissue paper here. This just happens to be some Timmy tissue that I found on clearance, and it's just white. And I just stamped my fiddlehead ferns. Now, if I sound a little funny today, I apologize, but my bridge fell out again, girls. Gosh, I don't know what my dentist is going to do, but he's got to do something because I can't keep these teeth in my head. Plus, they're uncomfortable, which is really the bigger issue. All right. So I stamped this with um, stays on because I thought I might like to have, instead of it just stamped on a uh, journal page, I might have it, you know, look a little more cute. Good morning, Marty. I sound fab. Okay, thanks, Barbara. I feel like I have a little bit of a lisp. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. I'm going to get that little ridgy, ridgy off. So yesterday we had my husband's birthday celebration with our kids and our daughter uh, is married and has two children. So our grands were here. Our son-in-law, our son. So it was nice. And, uh, of course, my grandchildren love to do crafts. So I purchased these. Um, I was telling you, it's like Indian India ink. You know, we would color on a paper, like when I was a kid. Color on paper, you put the India ink on, and then you can scratch it off, and the color comes through. This kit I got from Amazon, it, it really was for a party. It has had like eight, 48 Halloween shapes, like a cauldron, a, a, um, a web, and uh, they, it provided the sticks and the little ribbons to hang. Oh, my gosh. They turned out so stinking cute. <laughs> a little bit of a lisp is <laughs> So we had blast doing those, but just, I don't know. I knew I would love grandchildren, but I just didn't know how, how in love with them I would be. I mean, I'm just like over the moon with, with these kids. And um, my grandson is four and he's just, he's absolutely adorable. And uh, my sister, Nancy, has a house up in the Adirondacks area on a lake. and. Um, my daughter and her family were able to go there for a few days vacation. Hey, Safia. Good morning. Or good evening. Good evening. Good day. I always say that. I always forget, Safia. 
And um, he said to me, just random, he just said to me randomly, I can't wait to go back to the lake. But I don't want to get stung by that bug on my arm again. Oh, my gosh. They're just so stinking cute. Okay, so another thing that I thought might work, and I don't know if it will, is maybe a piece of fabric. Now, Natasha didn't do fabric. But I'm going to try it. I'm going to see if it'll work. And I'll have to get back to you. So I found this really cool, you know, just digging through a box of jazz. Uh, this really cool piece of, um, it's like a rust, burgundy, not really burgundy, more of a rust fall color. And it's got a really pretty image of, uh, gosh, I don't know. I don't think it's a marigold. I don't know how well you can see it, but it's really a pretty piece of fabric. So I'm going to see if that works. So let's paint this on. So now I'm really, really using a lot of the medium. I probably should have spaced these out a little better. So I really want to saturate that. And then let's see here. Where's that piece of, here's that piece that I had left over from the larger bag, larger tea bag. So welcome, welcome to everyone that's come in. So I have been collecting because I don't throw out anything. Well, I throw out very little. Let's just say that. You think it's a sunflower gale? Yeah, it could be, I guess. I don't know. It looks like it had petals rather than seed, seeds like curling in. So, but yeah, that could be. Yeah, I don't know. It's very pretty, whatever it is. <laughs> Barbara, you thought it was just, yeah, well, you girls are probably right. So I've been collecting the packaging from my Tim Holtz purchases for quite some time with the thought that it might make a cool journal. Now, I don't I don't know. This is where having Ann Lar sitting next to you would probably be a good idea. Um, because she does really cool stuff with, I think, unusual things that makes journals lots of times. But I got a thread pulling that thread out. So I got my bag of trash packaging and I'm going to see if I can put it together. Oh, Marty, you thought it was a sunflower too? Okay, we're going with sunflower. I don't even know where I got that little piece of fabric, but I thought it really looked cute. All right, so we're going to do, we're going to just leave, look, there's a piece of napkin. I kind of, kind of dissolved that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I did have a piece of I never get out a paper towel. Let's see if I can. Oh no, that's going to cause an avalanche for sure. I'm just going to use a piece of paper. I wish I could find the one that I did that's finished. These might be dry by the time we're finished. I don't know. I'm going to set it up on my laptop. I'm using Golden Matte Medium, Marty. I'm going to do this other fiddlehead things. I have it here and I've got this extra medium to use up. Now I saw this idea again on treasure books that's a youtube channel your connection was having issues earlier pam did it straighten out for you when i was watching Anne, i thought why is she so jumpy and then i you know remembered i had to change my my setting to 720 i was only on 4 420 i think
All right, let me just put this. I'm going to just overlap because it's not the right size. And you know what? I don't I don't know that you have to squish, squish your ends in. I'm just thinking, well, we can try this one without. Um, Natasha's probably tried all kinds of stuff. And she finds it more helpful to have those ends pushed in a little bit to help pick up the... Um, pieces i still have a little bit of glue here so let me grab i've got this little bicycle let me grab this guy so i'm going to put this up on my laptop keyboard because heat comes out of there and i've been using it to dry stuff so let's get the last of that on all right, we're going to just leave it go with that. All right, so let me make some room here up on my up on my keyboard. Let's see if we can get a couple of. I can always use my heat gun too, and a small one. I just don't want to block my vision, so I can read chat. And I, I just remembered, I didn't remember to go in and change my settings. So hopefully we won't have any babots. Well, hopefully we won't have any babots. All right, girls, I have a lot of stuff. This is my Tim Holtz packaging. Okay, now how sick is this? And I have another package that I didn't, I don't think I opened. Here we go. I just got this. And this has got some different colors on it. It's a little, little lighter. This is called Worn Wallpaper Scraps. So I'm just going to pop this stuff back in this little bag. Oh, they have like, um, it's not really ridgy, but they feel a little different. Let's see if I can easily scoot this stuff back in. All right. Now, this may not be a good idea. But if nothing else, it'll be different, okay? So I'm going to just start... Oops. Uh, stacking stuff of similar sizes. Now, see, this is a piece that's just, I tore it, but that could be a card, right? A tag. This was the top. Safiya said, I do wish Tim Ephemera was less pricey. So much is so pretty, but I could only really get it if I find a sale. Yeah rare over here or ask for specific things as i don't know what pressies mean i'm happy to share some stuff with you safia you safia message me on um instagram and we'll chat i should be able to send you a little envelope of some stuff prezies oh presents i guess no that's fine <clears throat> um and, and most of the time presents yeah thanks riri i but i you know i buy it when i see it sometimes on clearance you know or we used to be able to get it for a really nice price at um tuesday morning but my tuesday morning closest to me which really isn't close um really shrunk down their craft section and not so much stuff anymore so this was the top of packaging and then there was ribbon or something down here so i thought that might make a little tag or whatnot right so this is kind of middle of the road let's do smaller over here now see now that would be a good card but i think um my book's not going to be that big but I might put that up there. 
And then a piece of piano paper, don't know, piano roll paper, don't know why that's in there. This might, this might work. Oh, look at this big Jagunda guy. See, I don't think I want, I don't think I want it this big. Hmm. That's really large. Oh, look, I have some random stuff in here, which might make some cards. There's a little guy. We'll put him for a card. Jane Davenport. Apparently, I was sticking. Oh, see, that would make a cute little page. Now, why I kept the little plastic part, I'm not sure. Yeah, cut it down and fold it. Good idea. Good idea. That's a cute little page. Oh, see, this was clearance. This was an old one. I've had that forever. So that, that might be tag worthy. I love these little ones. Assemblage. Hmm. And then I was wondering, I've been having um, trouble with my sewing machine. I have to figure it out. I still haven't bugged my husband sufficiently to look at it. I can't get this one open. Oh, there we go. Um, I was thinking about, and it, it's really not that heavy. So maybe my machine will stitch through some of these. You know, to make little pockets or whatnot. It's kind of middle of the road. But it's it's not a real heavy card stock. I just kind of like the way it looks. I, I just am a Tim Holtz fan. Although I have to say, yesterday he released the new color. Did anybody see that? I was disappointed. Invader Zim today, Judy. <laughs> Invader Zim. Is that like Earthworm Jim? Much darker and weirder and most excellent. <laughs> no, I don't know what that is. Anybody see the release of the new collar? Oh, these are... Oh, these, I've got a lot of these girls. Ooh, ooh. And some coffee dyed papers. An envelope. Now, I'm not saying I can't put other stuff in here, in this here journal. Once I see this is the digi. Oh, these would have been cute with, um, these would have been cute with the tea bags on top. Shame I didn't see those first. I know, right, Barbara? Lumberjack, lumberjack plaid. It's like another red. Judy loved Mario's beard more than the color. You know what? I just listened. Um, no, it's like a red tone. I think it's. I, I turned it right off. I was so disappointed. Uh, what were we doing? We were doing something, and uh, I had him on. Oh, it's a true red. Uh, you know, I don't know. I was looking for, I was hoping it was going to be something, you know, out of the box different. So I just heard Lumberjack Red and I was out. Sorry, Timmy. So I didn't even get to see Mario's beard. I should have hung around for that. So, okay, I just, please don't judge me. I mean, I've been saving these, this pack, packaging for really quite a long time. But you can see, <laughs> I do have a problem. I've got a problem. Houston, we've got a problem. <laughs> and I'm just thinking, yeah, Houston's got another problem too. And that's the Philadelphia Phillies just saying. 
Sorry if any of you are from Houston. I still love you. All right. Hey, I got lots of those. Lots of those. So then I was thinking I could just make pockets of tags. Pockets of tags. All right. Now here we have some of these that have the stencils in them. So these are long and narrow, but I think they're gonna, they'll fold up, I think, nicely. Now, why I didn't take them out or put these back in the plastic, I'm just not sure. Did I scare you, Jen, make you jump? I got a deal on these. I found these on. Oh, Marty, I know. When I had mine attached not to my phone, but to my phone case. And then when I changed the case, kind of the protector kind of thing, I had to go, I had to get one. Oh, Mario did his beard. <laughs> I love that little ring thingy on the back of my phone. Even when I'm carrying stuff from the kitchen into my comfy chair, you know, and I've got too much and I'm lazy and I don't want to make two trips. I can still hear my mom saying, Lori, make two trips. Uh -uh, still don't do it. I hang my, I take that ring and hang it on my thumb so I can carry more stuff and just do one trip. This is, you know, how sad am I? Okay, and now I'm going to drink some of my cold coffee. Mm. It's just luke, lukewarm. All right, I think that's a wrap. Get it? A wrap. Look at this. This is going to be like the fattest book. In the, in the wide world. All right, so this is what I'm thinking initially. Okay, so I've got plenty of stuff here for cards. I mean, this is really nice stuff. I just have regular coffee, but I'm addicted to... Um, Sweet Italian cream creamer, no sugar. Do the no sugar. I had to get myself off the other stuff and do the no sugar. I feel like I'm, you know, like, like it's better if I don't do the no sugar. But I use, you know, I use more than a serving. Okay. All right. So here's some littler bits. I think I'm going to go with this size. And my initial thought is they have these little flappadoodles here, right? I can overlap. To make it like that. Actually, I might be able to stitch some of these together. Yes. Hello, my name is Lori and I'm a Tim Holtz addict. Yes, I am. Now, of course, this is going to be thicker and I'll have these little flaps, but I might be able to attach other things. So let's just see how many pages. If I do this, how many signatures might I end up with? Oh, look at see that's got fun colors on it there. This one's a little smaller. The creamer is, I think it's just, I could go in and look. 
The creamer is Sweet Italian Cream, and I think it's, oh, I can't even remember the name. Yes, it's liquid, liquid. All right, Safi is going to be an adult and go do a house tour. She just remembers she needs to. Jen, what's the brand? Do you remember? It's, it might be just the carnation. All right, these two kind of matchy matchy. So I'm going to go with that, that scenario. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's really not too terribly thick that way. Now, if I put these all, hmm, see, I don't, I don't know, you know, to stitch, well, I could try to stitch one. Now, I'm just thinking out loud, girls, weigh in, because you have better ideas than me lots of times, for sure. I could stitch them together, the here and here. I could stitch them together this way and have pockets. Oh, Judy, Judy uses great value. Yes, yeah, see, I'm, I'm a name brand girl with some things. Not everything, but a lot of things. And uh, I used to do French vanilla. I don't care for the hazelnut. This is, you know, years of um, research, let's say. <laughs> and then I did, uh, you know, the caramel. I do enjoy the pumpkin. When the pumpkin comes out, I'll, I'll get a, I'll get a bottle of pumpkin. Um, I'm pretty much anything pumpkin when it comes to fall. Yes, Dixie makes a good point. If you get those little, little ones, I've had those. Carnation vanilla caramel. I can go reheat my coffee, actually, and look real quick. But um, my neighbor, who is soon to be, my brother-in-law likes the peppermint. He drinks the peppermint year-round. I can drink it, but it, it's it, it, I wouldn't choose it international yeah i know my my brand is not international i know that so my neighbor who's soon to be 94 this is a couple of years ago she was here <gasps> eggnog oh my gosh yes yeah I, I would like the eggnog for sure she uh when we first uh when she first moved in and we were becoming friends she would come down and uh, i would fix her coffee and she would um like die over my coffee and i'm like it's the creamer so she now holds that against me because now she's hooked she's she's gotta have her creamer so okay so i could stitch this way and this way and then pockets actually i could do a couple of different ones See, I'm not a Starbucks fan because I don't like real strong coffee. I'm not really, um, I guess, I don't know, what would you call it? Hardcore coffee person. Jen said I made a suggestion above. Hold on, I missed it. I was too busy looking at the coffee stuff. Hold on, Jen, let me go back. Let me see if. What if you use the flap to add an envelope? Ooh. Yes. I got it, Marty. Yeah, I know there's a lag. Yeah. Ooh, that's a great idea, Jen. The other thing, too, is I was thinking if I put something in this way, this can flap out. Right? So there's that, and I could glue them, but once I start to do that, and, you know, they get thicker and thicker. I don't know that I'll be able to stitch, but I can hand stitch them together, correct? All right, so that's a start. Then I've got these little guys. 
And I was thinking if I if I glue these on somehow, they can be a flip out or flip down, flip up. I could cut and they could be little tags. I could stitch and then I could hang um, a bulb pin or a dangle. So I'm going to put those to the side. These I'm definitely going to use as pages. This I'm going to use somehow as a flip out. And see now we've got this big in here. What if I fold that? All right, now this is heavier, you know, because it's, it's like a, a heavier cardstock type thing. So let me just, I think I'm going to score this one. Let me get a score tool. And I think I want to find some kind of, I wonder if I can find some. See, my, my sewing machine keeps nesting. And I'm having trouble and I changed my when I search to see what the problem might be it says it's tension with your top and I've changed that tension all right now my question is for everyone here is has anybody else been saving their packaging? It doesn't have to be Tim Holtz. Is anybody else saving their packaging, thinking they might use it to build a journal? Marty says, what if I read a quote yesterday that all creative <laughs> creativity starts with, yeah, yeah. All right, now these could just be regular, regular. Just regular stuff, regular pages. So let me score. I'm going to flip and score. And I scored that a little too heavily. And look, I tore it. Look, look what Lori did. Wah, wah, wah. So you know what that means? Washi tape, washi tape, washi tape. You save enough junk, you're not saving your packaging. Okay, this one I could. Let's score this one here. And I'm going to try not to be so heavy handed. This could just be inferior, um, you know, card stuff. I'm going to score this one here as well. So I can fold in that little, what is it, UPC code thingy. And that will be on the inside. Yeah, I shouldn't mash it. I got carried away because it's, you know, heavier paper. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Okay, I'm kind of liking this. Maria is saving cardboard flaps from Amazon deliveries to make a journal. She's painting them first, and then who knows? That sounds wonderful. Hi, Janice. Hello, hello. Okay. Now, this one... I'm just going to score here. You don't know your own strength, Bullwinkle. Oh my gosh, that's a that's a flash from the past. Okay, so I purchased at Goodwill. Was ran into Goodwill. What did I run in for? Something quick. I wanted something, and I oh sheets for my son. I wanted to check to see, look, I got that crooked, even though I scored. Now I can't get it. Mm. Lori doesn't like that. Hold, hold, please. 
Let's see. Oh, here's one. I don't care for this phone folder, but let's see if I can make it work. And uh, that's all I was going to look for. Yeah, right. So I quick did a run through where they usually keep, you know, the kind of artsy fartsy stuff I might find. And sometimes, you know, when chat gets a little slow and you might want a little, I thought, you know, it would be fun to have some trivia pursuit cards or something. Well, I found a trivia pursuit card thing, not the game, just the cards. And guess what, baby boomers? Okay. Exactly, Janice. What was I thinking? A quick trip to Goodwill. No, doesn't exist. You're exactly right. So, I got me some trivia cards. All right, look at this, huh? And I could save some of this too for... See, these are cool because they have the... Um, a little stencil picture on them. Hope is never lost. I don't have that stamp. This just had the stencils. All right, so I might leave that one longer. All right, these I'm not going to do anything with until I see what's what. They're in the what's what pile. What, what, what's what? And this is going to be in the what's what pile. Okay, let's see. Marty says, I save envelope type packaging. I think they will make journal covers since I'm a journal cover, journal cover impaired. Maybe someone else will find them handy. <laughs> you can do it. Okay, Gail says so she's back. It sure is raining. Raining leaves outside, huh? Not here so much yet. All right, let's put this stuff aside. Give myself a little more room. Let's put this back for now. All right. So I've got a variety. This one's going to have to be trimmed. Trimmed. Dim, dim, dim. So I asked my granddaughter, who's seven, for some Christmas ideas, and she said her other grandmom asked her the same thing. And I said, yeah, well, we need some ideas. And she said she would like to have a watch that um, you can send messages or make phone calls. I said, you mean the, the kind that a spy uses? And she's like, well... No, it's just, you know, like a phone, but it's a watch. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not thinking mom and dad aren't going to approve. Hey, Alma, can you come and get me? You know, I, not that that would ever happen. So, yeah, an Apple Watch. Seven. Okay. I know, right, Gil? Kids are cute, aren't they? So cute. All right, let's see what I have in thread that I might be able to. All right, let's do. Let's see what Lori, if she can remember where her thread is. Oh, I think I see it. I think I really do want to stitch instead of glue. I've got stacks and stacks of things for projects that are on my mind. I found this old, older, it's not real old, sewing box at Goodwill. I need to clean up the top. 
Yeah, seven is a bit young. But see, the thing of it is, her brain is um, not seven. Her brain is more... Um, I want something dark. Oh, that might work. 200 yards, polyester. And let me see if I have a, I don't even care if my bottom thread is a perfect match, to tell you the truth. Her brain is more like 14. Mm -mm. So we got some news yesterday when my daughter was visiting that our granddaughter, um, she, um, your seven-year-old nephew wants dominoes. You see, that's more normal. Raining men. It's raining men. Hallelujah. My granddaughter's uh, baby teeth fell out and her second teeth are coming in and they're coming in um, this way, coming down this way. They're really jacked and she can't bite into anything. She can't really chew anything. And uh, of course, she's seen the dentist regular. Uh, they say she has a small palate, and so they're watching her palate for when it's time for, well, that'll work, a palate ex extender, which our daughter had to have that. We would crank the little, the little thing, you know. So we've known this, and uh, the dentist just said to my daughter a little while ago, uh, it's time, you know, maybe you should take her to the orthodontist. So the dentist had done a panoramic uh, x-ray and said, you know, it, maybe it's time to go to the orthodontist. So she takes her to the orthodontist. He does a panoramic x-ray and uh, hasn't even looked in the kid's mouth and said, you know, usually when we see kids this age, um, we do like a phase thing, you know, phase one, phase two. And most kids need a phase, not most kids. See, some children need a phase one, which is really only a partial phase where they just keep an eye on them, you know, do the palate extender and then go from there. And uh, he said, just looking at the x-rays, he said, your daughter needs probably at least phase three. Has ever anyone ever told you she has a cleft palate? Okay. Cleft palate. So the kid's got a hole in her mouth. There you go, Marty. That's it. I didn't think about that. So the kid's got a cleft palate. She's got a baby tooth in the back that they don't want her to lose because of uh, molars coming down and they'll go in the wrong spot if she loses the baby tooth. But her molar is hung up on the baby tooth because her mouth's so crowded it can't get down. Then they discovered she's missing one permanent tooth in the front that won't come down. I know, right, Marty? And the kid has had um, her tonsils taken out. They've been in her mouth, had surgery. They said, you know, this, you know, it's all connected to the sinuses. The, the kid's sick all the time. So they did the tonsils and she has been better. But nobody noticed? She's probably going to need braces upper and lower. So the first thing I think is they're going to put braces on those, the baby tooth and the back molar that's starting to come down so they can get that molar down. Then they'll do the palate extender, which will probably be a year. And uh, my daughter asked about the missing tooth. He said, well, we'll see. 
we'll 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 see. So it didn't really even know. Okay. She's seven. Pam, she's seven. And uh, you know what? There could be a lot worse things. I praise the Lord for that. But it is upsetting, I gotta tell you. It's upsetting. It's upsetting that nobody nobody like what is the dentist been looking at? So this guy showed my daughter this hole. And the kid don't know any different. That's how her mouth's always been. So she, you know, it's not like she's going to say, it's like my cousin's daughter, you know, the kid was like almost blind. I mean, the kid couldn't, but she didn't know any different. That's how she always saw. So. Huh. You would think, Marty. So I hope my daughter's going to say to the dentist, you guys didn't see this, especially when they did a panoramic x-ray, like a uh, hello. Anyway, so that's, uh, so then she said she knew her husband would ask the question. So she said to the orthodontist, if we don't do this work, what does, what does that mean? He said, she'll need jaw surgery. So, I mean, it's, it's serious stuff you know the kid's gonna have it done i mean that's uh, all right so this this one it's gonna need a little trim in this one all right so i've got this thread and what i'm thinking is i don't want to sit here and stitch while you guys are sitting here but i might just do one to see if my machine can handle it. I'll probably just cut those threads. I just want to see what the thickness might be like once I start stitching. So I'm thinking, um, oh, you know what else I wanted to do? I wanted to do Yes, Marty, it's my seven-year-old granddaughter, Charlotte, yeah. Um, Jen said about popping a, an envelope. I have little envelopes here sitting next to me. I do believe, I do believe, I do believe. Ah, stinkers. That's a little, I mean, I've got tons of envelopes. Don't get me wrong, it's just that they were sitting right here and that's most convenient let's see what else i have sitting right here well this might be the same well that's just a smidge i mean my our daughter had jacked up teeth but they said if they don't make room and her other teeth, you don't know where the teeth are going to come out. They're just going to start moving and busting out. She, she could have teeth coming out like a, a crown of thorns. So I'm glad they went when they did. You know what? You know what the smart thing would be, girls, is to measure this. And I know what size envelope. Let's say here. Five inches. Five inches. Let me go see if I can grab. And where's my uh where's me cutter? There it is. I need to have me cutter. I thought they were going to say she was going to have to have surgery, but apparently not. I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to put that spot in chase. That's too big. Too big. Too big. Too big. Too big. Not too big. That's too big, I think, as well. <laughs> well, it might be more of a more of a uh, challenge to find the right size envelope. 
Let's see. Let's see. Well, I have never been a fan of Dennis just because I had horrible experience myself as a kid. Oh, stink. I'm going to have to go on an envelope hunt. Yeah, that's too big, too. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah, it's just, this just, for me, seemed out of the blue because they've taken the kids, you know, regularly. Let me see if I can, oh, well, I can open this up. All right, let me do a little trim on this one. Doesn't really matter. Let's go this way. Lovely. Well, our son, uh, we gave our we gave our daughter. There really was no choice. Hers were so bad. That just seemed a little. No, that one's okay. That doesn't have to be trimmed. I thought I had two that had to be trimmed. And, and, okay. Um. But our son, he just had one tooth that was a little out of whack. And uh, he couldn't be bothered. So that was that. All right. So let's see. Now i got to ramp up the... Uh, let me just thread my sewing machine. Look, now I've got two threads going. Look, how does this happen? Did I cut it? Perhaps I did cut it. Oh, dear. I don't know, girls. This, this, may, this may not be working here. Let's see. Hmm. All right, Marty, have a great day. <laughs> Take care. Thanks for popping in. I appreciate it. Okay, let's see. I know if I do that, I don't know. What's, did you ever see Thread do this? It's coming off two ways. And then there's another thread here. How can this be? And then if I pull this, is this going to be a third one? Ugh. See, if I put that on my machine, I know only one thread's going to go through, but I think that other one's going to not. Well, I might give it a, I might give it a go. All right, I have my machine right here. Gail says, yeah, you must have not started at the end or you cut it yeah maybe I cut it but I don't think I went down that deep yeah that's what it seems like to me Pam it didn't wind properly see because then I got this other little bit here I'm going to see what happens because I'm just going to stitch a little bit I'm only going to do a couple just to see how it works out and how long it takes me and all that jazz all that jazz so my husband cleaned my carpets in here which i told you all so then we were moving stuff back in so my sew machine is back in i got an extension cord so now it's always plugged in which is wonderful for me 
And now this bobbin, let's see if I can find the end of my bobbin. There we go. So he didn't really understand. He said, why do you want that out all the time? And I said, well, you know, when you're making a journal or you're doing whatever, it's nice to have the option to be able to stitch a page. We like options. Oh no, what is what is Jen saying? I did this really bad my last spool. I had a pull off a third of the spool. Oh dear. Pam, what's your son going to use the bean bags for? Just to toss them around, or do you have a game he needs? Let's see. I'm not sure this is going to work. It's probably going to be more of a nightmare then. I'm going to take this bit. And this is even. This is this is probably really not a good idea. But uh, let's just see. Let's just see. Well, I got to take care of my nesting issue. I want to make some of those um, rope bowls. I have all my rope, if you will. It's actually cording or sa or curtain sash or whatever you, whatever they call it. And I had made a couple before. It's it's kind of like what Angie makes. Only this is just the rope. It's not. Um, it's not covered in fabric. Well, I did I did a couple covered in fabric too, but um, and they turned out great. I love them, so I wanted to make more, thinking mostly for Christmas or whatever. And now I can't get my. But now I'm getting all kinds of nesting underneath, and so I've been trying to look online to see what the the fix would be and like I said it said tension so I've adjusted the tension and now I think I've got it all out of whack not good not good so let's just say I'm going to use just a regular stitch to start off, okay, let's see. I'm missing a lot. Cornhole, that's what I was thinking. <clears throat> Her 12 year old just wants some. Oh, it's so cute how other people say things, right? Safia says we've had half term here, so I completely forgot it was Sunday, which is my day to hoover and dust. Oh my gosh, that's adorable, Safia. And Safia's planning to make some triangular rice filled bags. Janice, bigger than juggling ones, which can be used as a door stop. Or tablet. Oh, a tablet rest. Oh, that's an idea. I did re-thread my top. And yeah, I am I'm threaded correctly. I checked all that. I've missed what else I missed what else Pam said because Gail said Pam, that's what I was going to say. I was threading. I mean I was yeah, thread my machine. Hmm. Make sure your bobbin is in right. Yes, ma'am, it is in right. There's Carol. Hello, Carol. Oh, my hubby's home. I didn't expect him this early. Nope, my needle's in good because it's got a slot that's a certain shape, you know, and it can only go in the and it can only go in the one way. Bobbin should be 
Oh, oh. Let me see. Bobbin should be AP, not AQ. Proper foot for stitch. I've got the proper foot on. Check that. Thanks, girls. Yeah, I don't know. I really think I'm really thinking it might be a tension problem. All right, let me see. Hold on. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try stitching this. This one I'm gonna stitch right down this way. All right, here we go. Oh, the thread just broke. Isn't that a, that's a screen? I'm using a <laughs> and yeah. Yeah, see, it's still doing it. Well, this idea is not gonna work. Guess we're gonna go glue. Look, see. Yeah, I have looked at a couple of, hey, Janet, I have looked at a couple of videos, and so far what I've found is it's tension. If it's on the bottom and you have nest, that's what they call nesting, it's your top tension. Yeah, Sophie, that's, that's the information. Of course, I'm very dyslexic with stuff like that. And somewhere in my room here, I do have, it's an old Kenmore machine. And it's, um, it's really a good machine. It's, it's got a lot, does a lot of stuff I don't even know how to do with it. But as they say, plan B. All right. So... What glue? Now I've got golden matte medium. See, he's in the door five minutes. He's in the kitchen and already making a huge noise. Okay. I hope you didn't hear that. But bobbins have tension settings too, Lori. Yes. And I have checked that tension and that and my thread is moving very um, easily. Yes, the bobbins are original. And when I searched and looked and they said that this kind of nesting is not a bottom bobbin problem it's an upper tension problem i don't know so yeah i don't remember talking about old thread but that definitely is old thread and it just gave way so that was the other part of the problem although it stitched quite a while and used up from where it broke but anywho all right so i've got golden matte medium in my one container i've got fabric tack which might just stick down a little um better i don't want to use tape yeah old thread not a good use in a machine got it What is the tension set at? Right now, it's set at zero. So, and my husband's good with that stuff. I just got to get him out here to look at it. And um, so, all right. So, let's see. Because, see, I wanted to stick, and I don't want to use hot glue because that makes it, um, you know, lumpy and bumpy. Try to. All right, Janice. I've got it on too. I shall try it later. Thank you. All right. Tanya, yes, Tanya McGuire was my next go to if I can't get it figured out. I hate to bother her because she's so busy. Hi, Chris. Nice to see you. Thank you, Riri. Okay, you two of you say two. So that's what I'm going to try. Thanks, girls. All right, let's see. So let's just see how this goes. So I think I want to make some pockets and some of them I'm just going to glue down. So let's see how this, if I can get this 
golden mat medium. Tanya's on the road. They're traveling. Oh, I haven't. I've been out of the loop for a while. Is Nettie here? I didn't see Nettie. Hi, Nettie. All right, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna. I should get out my um my brush and do like what I did earlier. Let's see if I can hold that down a little bit. No, actually, I could put my paper clip on there. And then I was thinking I could decorate these with some, you know, Timmy stuff. You know, if I can find any Timmy stuff in my stash. <laughs> I need a longer clamp that, you know, could go in here and <laughs> all right. So this, this makes a nice inside spread. So let me do a pocket. So I'm just going to, I'll put a little glue here. Oh, actually I should do it this way. A little bit here and a little bit there. Let me grab a couple of these. Sophia has ancient six by six Timmy paper. Just a few somewhere. Somewhere over the rainbow. All right, so let's put that aside and that might be good. I wonder if he remembers that I'm streaming because now I hear him yelling out loud. You're never going to have enough pockets, right? And then I can punch holes and hand stitch. Barbara's going to be right back. She's going to make sure her dryer is still in the laundry room. Yeah, you don't, you don't want those taken off. I thought perhaps she had something in the oven. You didn't hear him at all? Oh, good. And Carol says she's away from the keyboard. She's going to make some food. All right. Okay. Before I glue this one down, what about maybe I'll glue where's those hmm. So I had these little bits, right, sitting aside here to be, oh, that might be better. What if I glue that on that flap? If I do that, then I can cover up those things. If I do it this way, that little guy's not covered up, which is not a big deal, right? Did you grow wings, Barbara, or does it just sound like it's taken off? <laughs> All right, let's see what else I have here in mind. That's kind of cute. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. Hmm, I kind of like this. I 
kind of like this larger one. See, why does it take me so long to make decisions like this? All right, I'm going to put glue along the bottom here. I need to clean the nozzle. I don't think I have anything here that's going to fit in this nozzle. Oh, that does. Good. <laughs> I made a getting pig sound. Rot row. I didn't even know I did it. I didn't even know. So my grandson, as I said, is four. So we're making these little Halloween goodies. And he's and I said, you know, they'd look cute if we put your name on some of them. So I wrote his name on one. And then he starts putting his name, writing his name at four. And he's asking me, what do you say to me? Um, uh, what does that lowercase j look like? And I said, well, and he said, oh, I know it has the dot. Okay, four years old. I don't know. My, I thought my kids were smart, but they're not, they weren't as smart as my daughter's kids. I got to tell you, these kids are, of course, their dad's a stay home dad. And he always has done a lot with them. But even still. All right. I think because, see, any of you that have had any of the Timmy packaging, you know that it's a, it's slick. It's not matte. It's um, like a glossy surface. Yeah, and he could now he got some of his J's backwards, but some of them he did. And then he asked the uh, his name is Jack, so he asked about the K. He wanted to know what a, a lowercase K looked like, and I said, Well, it's just smaller. Oh, God, love him. Okay, so once that's stitched, that'll be stitched. In there so that'll be good oh Gail said her youngest grandson missed a lot due to COVID he ended not going to preschool ended up not going to preschool at all in kindergarten not till he was six he'll catch up quick though yeah yeah, but at four, I mean, he got the shape, and I thought, you know what, I'm going to start early, because he was looking, I pulled up um, the ad uh, on Amazon where I purchased these little Halloween things, and of course, they had different, um, the different images already scratched to give you ideas, so he saw one little image, it was just, it looked like a little bird. And uh, he liked it, but he said, no, I can't do that because he was copying. It was uh, two tombstones. This is the other funny thing. He said, I know what this is, Ama. This is when you're old. You go to this place and you lay in there and you're dead. <laughs> but it had two, two headstones with crosses on the top. So he was copying of the image that we had on the computer screen so i had this little bird it wasn't a bat it just was a bird and um he said i can't draw that i said oh yes you can i said all you have to do is look at it and take it apart it's really just two lines and so i showed him and he did it but see i wouldn't have done that before without knowing Dee. Dee. And um, I'm just going to try to keep encouraging them at a young age to just look at it and take it apart. Your brain can handle it. Let's see. If they're interested, they're interested. And they will learn. Yep. 
My older boy loved numbers and wanted to learn to write them before he was three. My youngest boy is still learning at age five. Oh, you have a little one, Sophia. That's wonderful. Some here, Janice, but my mom got me started reading early because she was a stay-at-home mom. My grandson's mom wasn't so fortunate to be home. Yeah. Yeah. I know, right, Gail? I love that my grands are interested in art. Really, they both they both really are. Okay, so let's see. Maybe I want some of them folded this way and have this be the inside. I could have a pocket going this way. Yeah, uh, seven, five, seven, and seventeen. It's quite an age range. Yeah, but how fun! I mean, really, I would think for the seventeen-year-old to be able to enjoy younger siblings because when they're all the same age, they kind of get you know annoyed with each other at times. Okay. And I think I have a pocket that way, but I still want to try to stick an envelope on one. So I want to leave one free. Let's leave that one free to try to stick on. Uh, I'm going to find an envelope. Come, come hell or high water, as they say. Ooh, look, this has got a spidey. Spidey, spidey. Let's do two this way. So we have a little variety. Do do do. Ooh, how about my tiny attacher? Oops, sorry. Did I hit the camera? I think I did. Maybe I have it down too low. Oh, do you believe I just ran out? Oh, Lori. All right, I just saw. Uh, it's probably better I try to find my my supply. I know I just saw some loose ones and I thought I got to remember where they are. Jilly, is Jilly in the house? Hi, Jilly. All right. These are so little. I don't put two in because when I did that, they kind of bunched up on each other and I had issues. So I just do one at a time. That's why I run out more quickly. Okay, now where do I want that? I want this, yeah, this way. All right. Put him back. Oh, 
the right, so that's another one. And then this last one, let's see. All right. I do love pockets and tuck spots and all that jazz, right? I'm hoping these are sticking. My daughter said she's not looking forward to this next week of school because with the World Series games, a lot of parents let their kids stay up and watch it. And of course, the games are on late. They're starting at 8 in the evening. I mean, the first game wasn't over till what, 12.30, quarter to 1 in the morning because they went extra innings. And... Um, she said, of course, the kids come to school and they're tired and miserable. Plus, she already has issues. <laughs> uh, that one's not sticking. I guess I was a little stingy with the glue. All right, so now, see what I was originally thinking is when I put these together, it's going to be so thick um, that my pages are not going to be even. All right. Hmm. My other my other page pages. Oh, excuse me. Got a little, a little hiccup there. My other pages. See. Oh, you know what I should have done, girls. I should have scratched the surface. Now that she's almost done, she thinks of it. If I scratch the surface, probably would have. Janice is saying to stock up on glue. Barbara said in her city, one of the schools districts has a history of always having an in-service day the day after. Boy, that's intelligent. Good thinking. Hmm. Very good thinking. All right. My grandson. I don't know what my granddaughter's going to be. My grandson's going to be Batman. Yeah, this one's, this one's not. Oh, that one I didn't. That one I'm saving for. Okay. So let's see. Let's see if we've got stickage. Oh, this one I didn't make a pocket. All right, let's see. Oh, that's hard to. All right. This one I've got folded the other way. This one I used a tiny attacher. I've got that one's a free one for an envelope. See, as they start to go in there, I'm not really going to push. And I think I'm just going to do a pamphlet stitch. This is probably a silly idea. 
All right, so then I want to get one of these in, right? And what do I have over here? Oh, this one. Oh, this was the one I started to stitch. Uh, let's take that thread out. I could stitch it together by hand because now that I... <gasps> Now that I ran that through, see, I've got that one little tool, but I haven't been able to get it to pierce the paper. It's already pierced. What do I have sitting here? This is another rabbit hole. I should check my, well, it's kind of a rabbit hole. What's my time look like? Oh, it's only 1230. Okay, hold on. Let's see. What do I have here? I have needles somewhere. Doo -doo 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 -doo. That's a little big. This is a sword, but it might work. My aunt would say that's a sword. Got that needle. Whoop, 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 whoop. And somewhere I knew I have a ton, an absolute ton of um floss I think uh, I think floss might be a better option more heavy duty I want to grab a color that's not uh, you know pink I don't want to grab pink. oh it's so nice to have your craft space somewhat organized so that you can just go and pick up what you need, huh? <laughs> Chris is saying her internet is bad. I might have to disconnect and watch. Oh, sorry, Chris. Pam was having issues earlier, too. Um... And I was saying earlier when I was watching Anne, Chris, I had to adjust my um, what do you call it, girls? Where you go in to settings and you, I was on 420 instead of um, I think I got some brown. Let me get the brown. 420 rather than 720. So that's an idea. I mean, you would know, but sometimes it looks like, like Anne for me was like, kind of looked like she was popping. And um, she was real jumpy. All right. Yeah, I don't know. Does it reset itself, Gail? Because I was thinking, you know, why would I? I don't know. I don't know. Okay. So I'm going to trim this. I miss whoever's not feeling well. All right, so I don't want this too terribly long because I don't want it to, to not. And I'm going to just use two threads. Some, most of you know, this is a six thread deal, embroidery floss. And I'm going to take two. I'm going to take two and I'll call you in the morning. Your internet is with an antenna, and it's a big disadvantage. Oh. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that town name. <laughs> I feel like I'm pretty good at pronunciation, but I don't think. Oh, it's Jilly. He's not feeling well. Oh, Jilly. All right, let's see. Now that I have these holes, and I'm just going to leave those threads in there. 
bronchitis. Oh, yuck. I'm just going to go up and down, up and down. Now, the trick is finding that other hole at the bottom. And here we go. And then back down that other hole. So I'm coming up to the next hole. Can you guys see what I'm doing? Not that it really matters. And then back down the hole that I just was. So it's kind of like loop, 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 loop. I'm looping. Oh, I found that one a little easier. So. This is an idea I hadn't thought about before. If you want to do stitching like like hand stitching on cardboard, but you don't want to um, have the frustration, I'll say, of trying to pop your needle through cardboard and you have a sewing machine, just take your thread out run it through and pre-punch your holes now of course this isn't going to be a pocket this is just a stitch down I'm just doing a stitch down I wonder if my yeah my things are starting to dry a little bit things we worked on early my warm-up project Barbara says, my computer wasn't working properly, properly last week. I tried pressing all kinds of buttons. No luck. Finally, I just unplugged it from the wall and plugged it back in. And voila, I always forget to do that. My husband will say, well, did you unplug it? Uh, nope. Our Barbara's a genius. Never think dump plug. Well, that, that hole, I'm having a hard time finding that little. So my son called me this morning. He was here last night and watched the game with me. Called me this morning at 9 o'clock. I was still sleeping. And said, boy, mom, glad I didn't listen to you last night. Because I had said, why don't you just sleep over? Because the game will be over late. Actually, it wasn't as late as the first game. The innings were quite short. You know, a lot of strikeouts. Anyway. I said, why is that? He said, because my friend John called me and I, he's got an extra ticket to the Eagles game today. I've never been to an Eagles game. I'm going to go. So, Chris said, I'll try to guide you with a pronunciation, Lori. The E sounds like the first E in general. The U is silent. The A sounds like A in bar. The O like the O in rook. Oh, dear Lord. So, like this. Kiritaro, Kiritaro. Kiritaro. How's that? Did I do? Am I close? Kiritaro. Janet said, "I'm excited. Tomorrow or Tuesday, I will have a place to craft." Oh my gosh, Janet, that is so exciting. It's, it's like when you have a place where you don't have to put the second was better. Now I forget how I did it, Kerataro. 
when you have a place to craft and you don't have to pack everything up oh my gosh it's like it's like a new world it's like a new world well good for you excellent okay chris says very good Lori. stress the okay wait a minute Keritaro. 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 No, I did the T that time. Keritaro. Yes. I mean, for many years, I pack everything up, put it in the box, you know. It stinks. But you got to do what you got to do. But when you, if you ever do, or when you get to that place when you can have your own space, it's like magic. Yes, Barbara says, Janet. Oh, that's wonderful. A few months ago, we had 100 plus banker boxes removed. So much real estate and so many shelves. Jeez, Barbara's very happy for you too, Janet. Yeah. I should put my other glasses down on my face. I could do this a lot quicker, I think. But I can't, then I can't see the screen. See, I wanted to do this before I put my pages together because I think it will be a more difficult to try to stitch this when, when the page is, um, you know, attached into the book. So I'm just taking, you know, 20 minutes, <laughs> 20 minutes here to do this. I could have done just up and down, up and down, but because this is um, heavier cardstock, you know, type paper, I thought the um, overlap and stitch might be a little more sturdy. Look, see there, you can see where my, my stitching went crooked. Oh, dear. And if I find I don't like this, hey, there's Peggy Fitzmaurice. Hi, Peggy. She's been lurking while she plays Cinderella. Sunday, I clean and purge the house. I'm in the pantry purging expired food. My, my daughter said. <laughs> she said the other day she was, well, I guess it may have been a week or so ago. It doesn't really matter. At some point, she went in her cupboard was looking for something and she felt something really weird she couldn't figure out what it was so she got her flashlight got down in there to look and hear a can um, not a can i think it was a jar of pears had exploded it was of course very expired and she said it didn't smell good And it was just nasty. That's okay, Peggy. I'm glad you're listening. Um, Sophia forgot it was Sunday because they've been off. That's the thing about retirement. I never know what day it is. So I have to say to my neighbor, like I call my neighbor every day. So when I call her later, her birthday is coming up. And I'm going to say to her, if I don't forget to see. If I don't forget, to, if I forget to say happy birthday, it's not because I don't know when your birthday is. It's because I don't know what today is. Hello. I did, Jilly. They were here yesterday. And I was telling the girls we learned that our, our granddaughter, who's seven, has a cleft palate. So we got to work through that. And just some of the cute things that they say and do. Look, and there I stop stitching. So that's enough to hold that down for sure. And then I can put a little bit of glue there. So I'm just going to take that out. 
And look at there, I'm done. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Not sure what I want to do with that. I'm going to leave that free willy. I'm going to leave that be a free willy. All right. So I'm stacking up some more pages. And of course, I have to look to see how I want these arranged. All right. Chris said the stream is freezing so much. Take care. Okay. I'm sorry for your your uh, internet difficulties chris sorry you have to go but thanks for being here and trying to persevere you have a good day okay so this little one might be cute here in the center for my center and i've got some of these babies to stick in so let's let's just see how this might look i'll put one of this here And I'm thinking I can always trim these, can I not? Of course I can. Let's put that. Now I need an outer cover. Oh, girls. I could use that big one. Might not be big enough. This might be an idea just to have this to be the front and not have a regular front cover. And then if I do this, this is kind of beat up, but if I do this and I just have the back, then I can leave these pages. I mean, it's funky. Like I can move that down. And I can cut this. I think I might do that. All right, so let's do that. Now I've got these other ones that weren't, the glue wasn't sticking so well. So let's see. So let's find a place for, um, I'm gonna turn this one the other way because I want, I think if I'm gonna do what I just said, And this is kind of kind of be a free open front cover. Maybe I'd like to have, you know, something without uh, barcodes there. And I've got another. This is going to be so big. Now, Lori, you're going to have to scratch up all the pages. I don't know. It see the glue seems to be working okay. If I just gave it a minute, you know, to dry and didn't rush it so much. So right now it looks like I might be good to go. So I've got that. I've got that. And we've got this little one here. And this. Oh, gessoing is an idea, Safia. <gasps> oh, I can use my Timmy stencils. Oh, man. Yes. And Jen said about putting on a pocket, you know, like with a. Oh, yes. Okay, I think I want that from my center. I don't really want, see, I get really anal about. I've got the barcode there. I've got a barcode there. So let's turn this one inside out. Inside out. Right? And there's other little bits I think I'm going to use to. Um, you may make, you know, fold outs and stuff. So this I'm going to put here and just have like a back cover. Gosh, I really wish this wasn't bent, but you know, it's a junk journal. Okay. It's a junk journal made from junk. So I got to let it go. All right. So I've got those cool little cards there. 
All right, so this I want to trim. Oh, I hope it fits in my trimmer and I don't have to get my big boy out. So that's... Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. on it here. All right, Sophie is going to be right back. Let it go, let it go. Um, so maybe I'll trim this right about there. This is going to end up so cute. You're all going to be like, oh my gosh, I'm going to go start saving my junk packaging. Just saying, just saying. Oh. It just doesn't quite fit. Oh, crap is all. Oh. What we do for art. I mean, I got my big one right here, but it's just, I don't have, whoa, I don't have room on my desk to put it. What is this, a button? Yep, yeah, found a button laying on my cutter. Goodness me. Okay, I'm not quite on screen here. I apologize. Oh, I gotta lift that up. All right, so where's my mark? On well, your mark, get set, cut. All right. Now, of course, you know. I was thinking I should ink, ink some of these edges, and I, I may, but I'm thinking it might just wipe off because, you know, it's slick. It's slick. And maybe what I will do is I'm going to take a little sander. I don't know if I'm going to see that much. Just knock some of this back a little bit. You can't really even see it, but a little a little scratch never hurt anyone, right? That's what I'm thinking. Oh yeah, my things are starting to dry, girls. My Natasha stuff. Oh, there I can see it. Can you see? Copy a great idea. It just gives it a more um, distressed look. You know, Timmy's all about distressed. Of course, now I'm going to have dust, but that's okay. I can just use the baby swipe. A baby swipe. Just swipe it. Look, those edges look cool. I should have done this. Well, maybe, you know what? Maybe I'll sit that aside. I don't want to lose my. Um, arrangement of of my pages look at all the dust <laughs> next I have really been wanting to do this for such a long time. Oh, 
This is the file folder thing he has. I bought those. I haven't done anything with them yet. <sighs> yeah, I'm liking this. I'm liking this wrap up thing. All right, so my plan is, is that I'm going to punch holes and just do a pamphlet stitch. I'm going to use wax the linen. In fact, I have a piece sitting here that I had from a different project. Uh, it's one o'clock. Tanya, I don't know. Somebody said Tanya is on the move. Is she going to stream today? Not that I need to stay on later because I need to get myself some lunch and whatnot. And now I'll be wanting to watch the Eagles game. Our Eagles a football team. And they're undefeated so far. They're 6-0. and oh. So, of course, I'm anxious to watch that today. So, she's on vacation right now. So, she doesn't usually stream. I wonder if somebody else will pop on. Pop, pop, pop. Oh my gosh, I love this idea. But I think I can also just so after it's put together. That won't be that won't be difficult. But like to sand and do this kind of stuff. Once it's together, I think it'd be a little more fiddly, you know, don't you think? This is just an emery board. It's not really a board, it's a block. I I originally bought it, you know, from the fingers. Got a skeleton on there. This is the kind of thing with my fibromyalgia that makes, makes me have issues. But it is what it is. So it's almost like I'm inking. Now I know I don't have a lot of Timmy paper left because I've used a lot. But I know I have a lot of bits here and there. So I'll have to pull out see what I have and of course I'm going to use some lace and uh, I'll ink some stuff and I've got a lot of, of course the paper dolls well that's true Janet Janet says crafters never use things for what they're really supposed to be used for that's because we're clever we're all so clever. Okay, now I think I have this in this this away. This didn't glue. This this one didn't uh, stay. The top stayed glued, but the bottom did not. And then I was thinking, because I have all these holes, I might be able to stick something out the back. All right, Gail's going to go. She's got to get some lunch and then go spend some time with her dad this afternoon. Okay, Gail. Thanks for being here. I appreciate it. Thanks for your help. And enjoy your day. Give your dad a big old hug and kiss for us. All right. Let's see. I feel like the girl at the nail salon. I gotta put me some nails on. Okay. Cool beans. There we go. Oh, I'm loving this. And then if I did, see there's another one. I wonder why a couple of them didn't really stick. Maybe I should stand underneath there. Most of them did stick pretty well. I 
And then if I put the gesso on, or if I do put a little bit of um, ink. All right, before I put the pages together, um, what was it, Sophia said something about texture paste on some of the pages. I might probably do that. I'm thinking this isn't going to get together. It's going to be put together today. Because it would be easier to do it flat, right, before they get put in the book. I'm just saying. That caught me a lot of pages here, girls. Oh, look, that one's a double. I didn't realize. Well, one's for the pocket ones you could staple the side. Yeah, that's true. I actually could put a little stitch too, like a little cross stitch. That might be fun. It sure would look cute. Or we could go. Did Mar Marty had to leave, right? She said she might be back. I could try to do a eyelet. Could do an eyelet. I could use a little, little uh, brad. I'll switch it up. These pages are going to be. Okay, let's see. Janet said, well, for side pocket ones, you could staple the side. Yes, that would be great, but aren't you covering them? No, not all of them, I don't think. I'm not covering, I'm going to cover a little bit, but I don't think I'm going to cover a whole lot. See, I like how all that looks. See? I might cover, like, say this here, because it's a corner and I can make a little pocket, a little tuck spot or something. But who knows when I actually get starting to do it? Who knows what it's going to end up doing? That I want to put an envelope on. Oh, this is the one I stitched. See, this is what I say to my husband. Like I was saying the other day, um, I had something to go to Goodwill, and he's like, really? You're going to give that to Goodwill, and I'll put it out to the trash? But you just never know. Like, see, if I saw a bag of this trash at the Goodwill, I'd buy it. I'd buy it. Now, I know that's, you know, not the norm. I know I'm not normal. But you know what? I'm okay. With, I'm okay with not being normal. You meant for the cross stitch idea. Oh, up in the corner though, I was thinking like you know, because I had the one side. If I did like a little cross stitch there, just to tack it down. You know, on a pocket. Sophie is back. Welcome, welcome. Okay, my wrist is starting to hurt. <laughs> oh, look. Rippage. Just call me the masher. And this is going to be my inside center. Oh, I do believe, I do believe. Yeah, cover a little bit. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. 
Okay. See these? I still have some of these. These are one of the better things. I, I mean, really, I, I can't think of, let me see. Could I think of one thing of Timmy's that I bought that I wasn't too crazy about? Mm, probably. But those labels, those little sticky-on labels, love them. That's one of my favorites. Okay. So, now what did I say was going to... Oh, texture paste. Okay, let me get... Let me get a baby swipe. Whoop. Clean up my dust. Whoa, look. And we're going to have a quick wipe down. Of course, a little bit of sand on these is not going to be a deal breaker. They're two short pages together. I'm not sure I want that. Whoop, 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 whoop. Let's do it this way. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, I'm trying to think of that song, Girl Watcher. Oh, why am I thinking of that? I'm a girl watcher. I'm a girl watcher. Watch me go on. My, my, my. <laughs> this is my back cover. Now, look. Amazing, right? <laughs> okay, so here's my stack of pages. Now, if I did do texture paste, and I have some, I don't know that I have Timmy paste, but I'll have to use Timmy stuff like that, right? A little sip of cold coffee. I do like cold coffee, iced coffee. All right, where are my, okay, let me move this down. I do have some texture pasty stuff. There's collage medium, that might be something. All right, here's some. Oh, and it is a ranger. It's white. I know I have some brown and, and other stuff, but I don't know where I I don't know where I've got that stored. Okay, now let me get my a uh, couple of Timmy stencils that I just didn't put away. That I just found. Now, I'm not especially good at this. I think I'm good at a lot of stuff, but I'm not especially good at this. So I'm going to get my little, my little offset. This is kind of small, but I'm going to use it. Look, letters. Letters would be cool. Right now, I think I'm going to leave that. But see, look, texture paste here. Okay, I hope I'm not making everybody crazy. Kind of hopping from one thing to the next. Whoa, okay. I've got some some heavy gesso. Yeah, 
you know what, maybe I'll use a baby wipe. Because I don't know, I'll just see. I don't know that I want this, um, you know, to be real bold coming through a stencil. So maybe, now this is heavy, but you know what? It's not that heavy. What's that song, Barbara? Are you still here? It's not heavy. He's my brother. Yeah, that does not. That's that just so is not doing a whole, whole lot. Not doing a whole lot there, kids. All right. Let's see. Where's my other? I want something. Kind of looks more like an edge. I think I'm going to have a mess here if I don't put um, let's put a piece of paper under here. Okay, so so far, actually, actually, I have black gesso somewhere. That might be that might be a better idea. Black gesso. All right, let's see how this goes. Whoa, this is so... Look, see how often I use it? That's a shame. Oh, Lori. Maybe I should have put... Gail had to go. Does anybody else know? Oh, it's almost like clay. If I I could probably spritz just a little bit of water in here, right? Let's do. Let's spritz a little bit of water. A little bit of water in my paste. A little bit of water in my paste. Oh, the little water in my paste. Do, 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 do. Oh, yeah, that's softening up. I mean, I don't want it runny, but. He ain't heavy, he's my brother. Barbara knows all the words. I can't imagine. Barbara, your brain is like amazing to me. All right, let's try a little bit of this. Here goes. And I'm just going to go over my... sakes guys this is now now I guess this is some place somewhere I could be a little more heavy-handed and not you know necessarily oh look I'm I've run out of I've run out of bubbles let's move the mouse out of the way Lori Down here, I don't have much. I wonder what it would be like if I sprinkled this with um, Barbara makes her own texture. Oh, that's right, you did say you make your own texture paste, and then she can control the consistency. And uh, well, this I just have had for a long time and haven't used it. I don't know why I don't really think about using it. I should. Anyway, I was thinking, I wonder how it would look if I, 
you know, put embossing powder on it. Chana says she played that Osmond record to death. All right. Now, at some point, you got to pick this up. Fingers crossed. The part on my paper looks cool. <laughs> you probably can't see it. I'm going to clean a little bit of that off. Oh, gosh. I just stuck my thumb in it. I'm such an... I'm such an oxen. Look at that. I could save that. Right? That's good for something. This is how I get in trouble. This is how I get in trouble. Oh, I got tons of stuff everywhere because I just save every freaking thing. Silly. Silly. Silly, silly. Lori, the game is on. In case you, yeah, it started at one. Thank you, Janice. That's very kind of you. Thank you. Yeah, it looks good, right, Janice? <laughs> Might even look better once it's dry. All right, I know I have to clean this off right away. Am I on the right side? Oh, golly. I think I used the, no, it doesn't matter. I don't think it matters. Let's give this good scrub. Barbara says, oh my gosh, there's a score already. Seven zip. Oh, the Steelers. Oh, see, now that's a good, see, not a fan of the Steelers. I know they're a Pennsylvania team, but three tablespoons of baking soda, one tablespoon of white school glue, and one tablespoon of acrylic paint or paint of your choice. Stir well in a well-covered container. Janice uses cornstarch baby powder. Well, see, the thing about that, making your own, like Barbara suggests, see, that's not really making a whole lot. You can make a little bit and you can make a color you want. So there's that. Actually, this looks pretty cool, too, when I'm trying to clean off my stencil. I'm not keeping that one. I'm not keeping that one. Don't judge me. Don't judge me. All right, what other stencils? Oh, yeah, I have these. I have these numbers. I want these numbers on something. Something, something. Let's see. Maybe one of the planes. Maybe maybe just this plane. Okay, so I took that. These are all going to be out of whack. I'm going to have to not worry about it. I'm not going to. I'm going to have to not worry about it for now. All right, here's this stencil. This is a good way to use up some of this dried up paste that I never use. Maybe I'll do this side. I tend to always work on the right hand side. Hey Sherry, how are you? Nice to see you. I still have a little. All right, let's put that there. What did I do with my, okay, here we go. Maybe I'll do bits. I won't do just a square. I think that's more better. I think this could use another squirt of water. Anything good, dear, Sherry? Mm -hmm. All right. Anybody that is a Harry Potter fan, tell me if I sound like Professor Umbridge. Okay, ready? Let me see if I can do it. Mm -hmm. What do you think? <laughs> Owl. O. 
W L S. Outstanding wizard. What was it? I think Janice is a fan. Outstanding wizard. Lessons or and then she goes. <laughs> Jenna said, I put mine in a jar from the kitchen and had a good top, a pickle jar, I think. Oh, I could, you know what? I could go for some pickles. I could. All right, so I'm going to put a little here. So I've got this whole area. So I'm going to put a little here. Now, this is a much lighter coat. Maybe I should put a little more on there. Ah, <gasps> nice. Put a little here. Mm, let's get that Z. This is picking up some of the dust I didn't totally wipe off. Janet said, I'm a fan too, and I would have to hear it again. It's just a very little. <laughs> O-W-L-S. I brought my own pen. I have a pen that you'll be using today. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so there's another texture paste page. You know, who knows what else I'll do with it. Yuck! I get, how long does, I guess that stuff doesn't, well, I guess it depends on how thin or thick you put it on. It probably doesn't take too long to, um, to dry, right? Down here, I really got a different color because of the. I guess I didn't uh, wipe up my dust. You probably, maybe you can't tell, but that's really cool. Kind of, kind of a yellowy, dingy, dirty color. Yeah. Okay, some of these. This might look cool because it's dark. Oh, you mean on the movie? <laughs> gotcha, Janet. <laughs> yeah. Well, I just, I've watched them so many times. I just, uh, I think I sound like them and I really probably don't. Anyway, anywho, I'm going to do the, um, I love the uh, honeycomb. So maybe I'll just do the honeycomb on this part because that's going to flap in and open up. All right, let's see. Barb's saying something here. I got my paper in the way. I can't really see. Hold on. I gotta, I gotta reach. Lori, above I put in a link for the textured video. I really like. Oh, okay, great, girls, and those who are rewatching the replay. Barbara's put in a, uh, a link for us of the texture paste that she, uh, a gal that she likes. Thanks, Barbara. Excellent. Got me some good mods. Good mods. Good mods. Okay, I think I'm getting a little a little better at this. Okay. I think I just tend to be a little stingy with some of this stuff. I do have some lumps, so I don't want to put those back in. And I guess if I'm, I think I'm correct, that you could mix. Um, oh, I should try that. Um, you know how you have that um, paint that makes powder? What is it just called? Powder pigment or something? I don't know. 
and uh, or could you put a little acrylic paint but see that would make it what well, would work for mine because mine's really dried out Ooh. um but to color it and make it a you know a color that might work with a project okay scraping this down reapplying All right, let's see. Ooh, and the crowd goes wild. Oh, I forgot to wipe off my other one. Hold on, hold on. See, this is where I get into trouble. I just grab whatever's whatever's in my here. Let me grab this. This little tub. See, because this is um the color is uh, now kind of distorted. I'm going to clean off this edge. Now I'm a little flap a doodle. Oh, who's leaving? Janice. Bye, Janice. Yeah, that'll look cool. Oh, look. I've got the honeycomb right there. That's a happy accident. Okay, let's open that up so that can dry. And let's see. Lori didn't clean that other one. I better do that one first. The number, see, I forget because I'm rather reckless. Like paints and stuff like that, I don't clean it off. All right. All right, does anybody know? Let me just ask this question. Lisa, my eclectic life, is she still streaming Monday nights or has she changed her schedule? Because I was thinking, I don't know why I have. I seem to think that she's changed her schedule somewhat. And I was thinking maybe I might jump on Monday night sometimes. I'm going to need another baby wipe there. Okay. All right, so I'm probably going to do a few more pages like this, and then uh, maybe the next time, maybe if I come on tomorrow night for a little bit. Might be late, though. I don't know. We'll stay, because right now I need to go get something to eat, and I want to watch some of the game. So I think I want to do a few more of these. I don't I don't want it on every page. Okay. Just, you know, that's just me. Okay, it's time for Sophia to make supper. All righty. Barbara says, Sherry, the baking soda gives it that fizzy stuff. So it makes it fluffy. And it's only three everyday ingredients. Good point, Barbara. Very good point. All right. Well, thank you all for joining me. Uh, oh, oh, let's check. Wait a minute. Let me check quickly here. Let me unearth my, see if any of these are dry enough. And I'll work on some of these other pages. And I might get some, like, some stitching done on them if I can get my machine. Uh, start working correctly and get some pages you know pre-done but uh, i will wait to put put it together to just stitch it together in case anybody wants to see that and let's see i'm reaching i'm reaching oh goodness i think some of them are dry i think they're all dry enough for me to try to pick them up Now, the image is, this one is, uh, I could have stamped it a little darker. See, in this I could tear. But they're very resilient because it's, it's like plastic now. But it looks cool. I don't know if you can really see. This is one that I overlapped. 
this was a horrible little shiny bicycle. Natasha, you are a genius. This was inspired from Treasure Books. Oh, this is the fabric. That says a, that's a little damp. So let's see. Yep. This one's still a little damp. Oh, look how much better you can see the image on the back side. Cool. I'm happy with these. I'm happy with these girls. So you could get really carried away, right? More little bits you could be saving. This is the napkin. Now, I could use a little tool, probably. Well, you're welcome, Janet. Glad you could be here. Enjoy that new craft space. See, and you could tear these if you don't need a big piece, right? There's another one of these little, I just didn't think say I got wrinkled there, but that's okay. These would look great on a cluster. That's that little pair. And then this was the um, Edith Holden page. I'm very pleased with this. Now these could dry a little more. I pulled them up a little. And I can use this again. So how's that? Right? Cool beans. All right. I'm going to go grab me some lunch. I came on a little early. I'm trying to get to the 11 o'clock. And it's done like uh, right around 11. So I just thought I'd, I'd jump on right after Ann. And it's Sunday. So I expect Mary will be on later. So have a great day, everyone. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Thanks for being here. And don't forget, take time to be creative and enjoy the journey. And I'll see you all soon. Thanks, Barbara. Thank you, Gail. Thanks, Peggy. Oh, I think my mouse died. I don't know if I'll be able to disconnect. Anyway, take care, everyone. I'll see you all soon. Bye-bye. This is really tacky, but I don't know how else to end. <laughs>